Good morning. Good morning, vlog. Welcome to Nationals vlog number three. What are we doing right now? We are going to get pancakes. We're going to get pancakes. We're going off plan today. We're going off plan today. We're going to do some pancake tapes testing for you guys today. We're also going to a show today. We went to a show last night, but we decided not to vlog last night. We decided to vlog today. We're a little tired, you know, but we got the best Gatorade Zero flavor ever, cucumber lime, and we're rehydrating up. We're gonna go get pancakes. It's gonna be fantastic. We're training today, and then doing absolutely nothing else until the show comes. It'll be fun We're vlog. gonna watch the Great British Baking Show and oh, do an espresso goodness. coffee review. You guys, are, you guys are in for it today. We're bringing fun to the vlogs, baby. Welcome. Check it out. We're ditching, we're ditching dieting today. The diet's over. We're done. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Let's show them what we're working with. Let's start with Chad. Start with mine. Here we go. Which one is this? This one is Bananas Foster, and I'm most excited. Bananas Foster. Guys, I have been craving bananas so much this entire prep. Oh my god, dude. The caramel. Whoa. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see the other one. This one's Oreo, of course. Oh, Yo. fuck yeah, dude. That's nuts. And then your carrot cake. Your carrot cake one is in gas. Nope. You opted for no walnuts, though. Yeah, if it's a refeed, it's lower fat. Mm. Yeah, but I got cream cheese icing over here. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. And there's whipped cream and all this goodness. This is all the goodness. Oh yes, yes. absolutely. You guys just take a freaking gander at that. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Babe, I'm so excited about this. I get to eat bananas. I'm going to you. All right, here's the first bite. It's like the the mushiness of the banana, mm -hmm. but it's like caramelized. And it tastes like cinnamon in there. It's such a good, it's such a good flavor profile. I don't think that was a good idea. Do you want a banana in there too? Yeah. Get that, get that, get that, get that. Mm -hmm. We had a we had a scale of these. Mm. We had a scale of these. A million. This one though, like a million. I don't think this is gonna be, this one's gonna be hard to beat. That's the one. Yeah, this one's gonna be hard to beat. For sure. Baby, Sachs Cafe in Vegas. If you ever come around, it's like a hole in the wall. It's like not big. Um, but a short stack of pancakes is like seven bucks. We got all these pancakes for 25 bucks. Yep. So if you're ever in Vegas and you want like really good pancakes without having to probably wait forever to get seated and have to go out to the strip or some shit. This is the shit. Would well, you have a puppuccino when you could have a bean -a chino An espresso bean. An espresso bean. Here we go. Bean. Hell yeah, bro. Get that shit, bro. Let's go. That's a good boy. We have the best cats in the entire world. It's a good boy. That's just disrespectful. Like, there's no regard for humanity on this. I think saving this for last was probably the move. Mm -hmm. You think it'll be better? I would have done a bite of both and then saved the best for last. Mm. But you just went ham. Mm. Did in fact go ham. Very hungry boy. Pancake stack number two. Cookies and cream, Oreo. To this day, just one of my favorite flavors just in general of, of, of life, so. Mm. Dude, yeah. Yeah. If the banana foss if the banana one was like is it banana foster? If that this is if this is a ten out of ten, the banana one is a nine. Dude, I'm telling you. You're right. You, yeah, I'm telling you. It's like rich. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like cake. Yes. And it's not too heavy. Yes. It's rich, but like not too heavy. Like you can eat like, the whole stack. It's still like lightweight. Like the pancakes themselves mm -hmm. are such a good size that it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Incredible. My god. Incredible balance. Might be. I, can, I mean, I haven't had the Grill Cafe in LA, but this is the best. These are the best making mm -hmm. I've had compared to that. Yeah. If you guys want, we're gonna do an LA food tour vlog in the next coming months, for sure. Drop a like on this video if you guys want to see that. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. 
I don't think they're burnt. I just think like like this is carrot cake, bro. Yeah. I feel like sweet that is going to be a legitimate cake. carrot cake. That's a nice bite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dope. They're pretty fire. Hell yeah. Can I try? Mm. Good. After, I mean, after the Oreo, it's just I mean, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, but fire. Mm. Like, really good. Like, oh man, that line is really good. That's a solid choice. We do have to put the carrot cake one in third place. I know. But this would be like a 10, 9.5, nine, nine. That sucks. Oh no, 1000%. Yeah. 1000%. These are quality, man. Mm. They had so many flavors. They had like Rocky Road. They had like white chocolate macadamia okay. nut. Yeah, they had a sweet potato one on there. Like, Bro. And pumpkin. I didn't see that they had pumpkin. I don't think you can go wrong with anything that was on their menu. No, I really want... They had like breakfast burritos and stuff. I wanted uh, one of those so yeah. bad. I wish that you could get a fat refeed. Not a carb refeed, a fat refeed. That's that what it sick. is. I'm, I'm, I'm like so happy watching you eat this. <laughs> like watching you eat this is literally the best thing I've ever seen in my life. You are balls deep in prep. There's been like moments where you can tell he's dieting. He does pretty well, just like normal everyday stuff, but then there's just like random moments. So the first time he got a refeed during his mock peak week, he stood over me while I ate my poke bowl and he asked me for a play-by-play -play of every ingredient. And then the other night I finished my oatmeal and he oh my God. got every little piece of yogurt and oats out of this bowl for me. After I finished eating it. Yeah, she finished eating it and I looked at it, I eyed it and I was like, there's like this much. Like literally this much yogurt on the side of it and I went and got it and I went. Not even with a spoon, with his finger. I supported him fully. I get it. Yeah, um, I don't recommend being here. Dude, we just like, it helps when like kids, can you imagine a partner not understanding <laughs> what that is? And you're just like saying that to them? Yeah, it helps to know, it helps to know the vibes. Yes. <laughs> Also, like, we've we've had previous experiences with disorderedness, mm -hmm. and so like we know when we're doing some shit that's like, okay, yeah. probably not. Like we know when it's acceptable, and it's usually when both of us are doing it. But <laughs> yeah, okay, we both do everything, but <laughs> we're gonna call each other out. Yeah. Just when y'all thought we were done with the treats, what we get here, baby? We got new coffee. Nespresso is the best. I used to have, I used to do the whole K-cup thing and I was like, what's the hype around this? The hype is one, it just like the tastes coffee. higher quality. Yeah. Two, there's foam on top and that's just worth it. The crema. Yeah, the crema. What did we get here? Okay, so we have, I got a, a sleeve of gingerbread. Oh, fuck yeah. I love gingerbread. And then I got two peppermint. Oh my God. Yes. I'm not a peppermint gal. I will occasionally have the peppermint mocha, but this is. Oh bad. my God. Oh, we gotta try this ASAP Rocky. Yeah. And then this is a collab that Nespresso did with this chocolatier. Wow. And uh, there's three different flavors. So this one is. Damn. Hazelnut, praline, 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 and vanilla. I've been, I say probably because the grapes are just big, so it's pretty in America, but it's probably. <laughs> this one, we got three of these, are, that one's like Oh my gosh, raspberry. dude, that's chocolate raspberry. Yeah. That's insane. I honestly am so curious to see how robust these flavors actually taste, like, like with black coffee. You know what I mean? Black coffee? Yeah. It's like, you know, because this is flavored coffee, right? Yeah. It's not like it's a creamer, right? So I'm curious how distinct of a taste you can actually taste in that mm -hmm. with a flavor like that. Yeah. I guess we're gonna fuck around and find out right. with this one right here first. We're gonna do a coffee taste test now. And I'm so, I only have Stevia in mine. And I used the blue tub. Blue tub? The blue tub. It is the double espresso and the richness of this coffee, hang on, you have to see the crema. This is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I am a slut for coffee foam. So, the fact that he had a beta ass coffee machine that needed to be rectified so no, what the fuck, man? I, I fucked with my donut shop K-Pods. Yeah, tell you about me. True. This is so good. I, I can't like chase this peppermint coffee while I'm eating egg whites. Yeah, it's disgusting. It has to be afterwards. Yeah. 
I like I kind of regret it doing the peppermint. Yeah. Yeah. The raspberry would have been better. It's a really weird profile to throw into the mix of all the things that I'm eating this morning. So it's okay. Peppermint would have been a vibe with Oreo pancakes. Oh my god. Yeah. Can you tell we're dieting? <laughs> <laughs> he and I have never been like this. <laughs> when we first started dating, we we're like, oh yeah, like food is food. And now we're like, but like if you put this fourth topping on your meal right now. It's the difference between the first full day of eating they saw on this vlog compared to like what they're gonna see because we're probably gonna do a full day eating next. Oh, <sighs> yeah. I remember, definitely remember like- Remember the first full day eating I did? I was just like, spinach, bleh, bleh, bleh. You know, it's yeah. like food. It's so sad, right? I have only gotten my calories adjusted twice this entire prep. And yeah, but your hunger level, so. All right, here we go. They adjusted. It's really good. It's it's still like coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Yeah. Of course, because it's just like espresso shot. But like, there's like the slightest of peppermint. Like it's so slight that it's just like, it's gas. Got a little bit of almond milk in here, a little bit of stevia. Mm -hmm. It's like perfect. You wanna try it? Damn. Damn. That's so good. That's like, to me, you can add that's stevia like an, in that though. Yeah, but that's like an old fashioned. Like, that's the kind of bitter that I like to sip on. That's fucking amazing. It's like the perfect touch. Yes, I agree. Yeah, not being too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Still kind of tastes like toothpaste. Like, that makes me feel like I'm drinking coffee after I just brushed my teeth. Oh, <laughs> dude, you just ruined that for me. Huh? You just ruined that for me. That's what peppermint tastes like to me. Oh, you didn't ruin it for me, but like, fuck. You, it's spot on, you know? Oh. Uh, no, I'm ah, uh, I don't want to think about that. I don't like that. Mm -mm, no. Just wanted to Hey thanks. Update physique after the freaking pancakes, man. This is what happens when you're lean and you get carbs. Holy shit. 194 this morning after like no sleep. Like two hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow I'll probably have a Freaking fat low, but classic Chad is coming. That's all I'm saying. Quick little Saturday errand for the WRX today. We are getting the rear fenders rolled and uh, a special modification for the WRX, which I'm actually super super pumped on. If you can, if you can guess, I'm getting the rear fenders rolled. You can probably guess what's happening next. If you're not a car person, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, right now, since I got wider wheels and wide, wider tires, if I go over a bump, um, it'll actually rub against the back fender and it makes this fucking terrifying noise and it like cuts into the tire. I'm like, because there's a little lip in the, folder, um, in the fender and we're gonna roll that out and roll it out flat so that way I don't have that issue. Um, and then you can probably guess what's coming after we roll those fenders because right now we're on stock height and stock height just it just ain't it man we don't like wheel caps so we're gonna go drop off the subi before we continue the rest of the day there she goes man this car looks so good man i never see what it looks like with someone else driving wow so i'm wondering why are you guys eating pancakes so you guys are just trashing the diet and ending prep and i'm like yes we are temporarily for the weekend because these carbs are gonna be our only life form for honestly the rest of the diet. <laughs> uh, but this weekend, yesterday we got in 30K steps. And I mean, for the past four to six months, we've just been depleting our bodies, been working against our bodies mm -hmm. for such a long time. And we're depleting them even more. We're dancing for two nights straight. And so carbs are gonna be the only way that we're able to get through this. And honestly, it's gonna be the only way we are able to just continue losing fat throughout the next couple weeks of this diet. Um, we, we did train both days. Yeah, we also so, did. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. <laughs> that too. <clears throat> I hit legs yesterday. He's hitting legs today. Yeah. Luckily, I have upper body today. I made sure that I structured it that way because last night I was dying. I had to squat down on the ground yeah. because my legs were so tired. Yeah. Worth it. We kept going. Intra rave tortilla. <laughs> Save the day. This is a rave hack, by the way. If you need some sort of energy, Go get a tortilla. Yeah, for sure. For the protein. Yeah, it's not gonna sit heavy in your stomach. Yep, you can still dance right after you eat the tortilla. Exactly. At the same time though, like, 
is this really a way to live where you get like so tired dancing that it's like, you know, like this is the thing, like dieting past this point, it's it just not, healthy. not it. No. And bodybuilding as a sport is not healthy. <laughs> so you have to take it with a grain of salt. So if you're going into bodybuilding, think like thinking that it's going to make you healthy. No, you're not in the right sport. When you see the shreds, it's not the healthy epitome of what that looks like. So know that there's like a lifestyle point of dieting mm -hmm. and then there's a bodybuilding point of dieting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both got our blood work back. We both have low thyroid. Yes. We both have low thyroid. Um, you haven't had your cycle since when? August. So it's been gone for like three-ish cycles. And that's just not? Not optimal. That not being optimal. said, I usually bounce back pretty quickly. Yeah. So here in the next like month or so, I'm expecting to get it back. Yeah. But it is something that I'm very firm on getting back and having back for at least mm -hmm. four cycles before I start prep. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, for me, like I've just like, I have like decreased libido, like decreased energy, like I'm like irritable, <laughs> like I'm, my sleep's getting disrupted mm -hmm. simply because I'm so low, both low body fat and I'm like waking up hungry. At 12.30 every night. <laughs> and, and so like at this point it's like at what cost you know sure we're getting this lean yet you know we're at a point where we're like cool we look great we're happy about it yet we're ready to live you know and i think that at the end of the day even what we talked about in previous videos it's like fitness gives you freedom fitness gives you flexibility it's something that like gives you a lifestyle it's making the choice to bodybuild making the choice to go past a certain threshold is something that it, it, you had to be careful about and i think honestly having her in my corner has been huge having my coaches in my corner has been huge being able to do this this prep now for the third time has been huge uh, but like it there is it's there is such a high level responsibility in going into this and if you're willing to push past that barrier and get yourself staged lean there are going to be repercussions there are going to be side effects now a lot of them can be mitigated mm -hmm. to an extent if you're doing it smart and you're under good super supervision but like we would be doing you guys a disservice if we were just like living this lifestyle and showing you guys that we're doing this and and, and, and then we didn't talk about the side effects and the downsides that come with this. Mm -hmm. For sure. And you definitely can mitigate these, but it's highly dependent on the individual. Yeah. So for example, I've been dieting for since May. So like what, like six months yeah. about? And I've been kicking for a yeah. long time. I didn't start feeling like shit until like six weeks ago. Yeah. So when you're in good hands and you do it well and properly, you can still feel yeah. just as healthy and have high agree. energy and really mitigate how you're feeling. Even you didn't start feeling like trash. Yeah, until... I think you feel healthier. Yeah. Like, especially weight loss. Mm -hmm. When just basic fat loss, it's like you eight, ten weeks in, you're feeling healthy. Yeah. Like cardiovascular, you're doing better. You're performing, honestly, better in the gym. Yep. Um, I hit like, PRs until like four weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. You're being more mindful. You're getting more vegetable intake. You're drinking more water. Mm -hmm. Like you put yourself in a really good state to live a very, very healthy life. And then like you said, six weeks ago, same for me, like six weeks ago, it started feeling like shit. Yeah. It's like for normal general lifestyle, if you're trying to get in shape, that's once you start stop. feeling, that's <laughs> where you stop. That's where you stop. Or if you really need to go further, like utilizing diet breaks, you've been refeeding, like yeah. that stuff, nonlinear approach to dieting is like a very good approach. Although like, be, like these are kind of standards that I've kind of set out. It's for a typical lifestyle, dieting more than 12 to 16 weeks just isn't really necessary. Going over 1% of body weight being lost a week isn't really necessary. If you're getting hunger pains and like you're getting your sleep disrupted and your training is really, 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 really suffering, it is not, it is not a green light to put your foot down on the gas harder. Yeah. It's an opportunity for you to back off and I mean, this is something that, you know, we'll probably be talking about coming out of this prep and coming out of the diet is like reversing post diet maintenance, what to do after post show recovery, you know, getting to the point where oh, I feel like shit, bumping your calories just right back up to fucking maintenance right after that happens. Mm -hmm. is one of the best approaches you can possibly take pushing past and going to the level of depths that we are. It's just not smart. It'll also be cool to talk about our different approaches because he'll be yeah. recovering, I will be reverse dieting. So there's yeah. a time and a place for both. You just yeah. really have to see where you're at in your journey and what your goals are. Mm -hmm. 100%. Well, 
We're gonna freaking rage our, our freaking pants off tonight. I think it's the only thing that's honestly going to like get us through the trenches of dieting for the next couple weeks. Like sure, seriously, like it, it's gotten to the point to where like we're doing it and it's just not that fun anymore. We're ready to be done. Dieting? Yeah. I thought you meant raving. Like, oh no, no. <laughs> no. Like, but this raving, that like raving these two nights is like it. It couldn't have come in a better spot. Yeah. You know. This would be the last weekend that we could do it. Yeah. The very last one, yeah. or else we would have died. Yeah. So, uh, don't kill yourself on purpose. Kill yourself responsibly, under proper guidance and supervision, because your health matters a lot, and it should always come as a priority and come first. If I got my blood work back and it was like really, really bad, it really, did happen really bad, last year. That continuing would just be like, shh, then I would, I would just completely back off. Yeah. What you did last year when it yeah. came back like really, really off. Yeah. It was almost kind of scary how high his CRP was, yeah. which is no bueno. Yeah. yeah. So you just have to be proactive and don't think because you're fine right now that you're always going to be fine, especially when it's hormonal. Mm -hmm. Because this is actually why I had to diet this year is because my hormones and my gut went to shit yeah, and my body literally just like... You dieted for like literal health purposes. Yeah. Because yeah. I just... My body was not having it yeah. and it responded out of stress and just like did not work. <laughs> didn't want to work. Statement too, like dieting and prep is also not just a card to pull or card to play and excuse to make for like shit health. No. Oh yeah, I'm in prep and my health shit. I'm like, uh, there's uh, uh, probably could be doing a little bit more to improve your health or maybe you weren't even in a place to actually begin prep in the first yeah. place. You know, there's prerequisites to it. Yes. Are you, is your body in a place to respond hormonally, mentally, emotionally, and physically before you even begin the journey? Hot take. Mm. You have to earn the right to diet. You don't just get to diet for fun. You have to earn the right to diet. Facts. All right. We're about to head out. Fit check. You have an excision hoodie? That, go close up. Show them what it says. Hell yeah. Mine says, going to shows is therapy. Skull mask, joker mask, show me your sick makeup. Yo, Pashmina. I got some reflective cargo pants from Amazon. You get your pants from Amazon too? Yup. Yo. Mine are cool. They have chains and stuff. By the way, she looks really good in my hoodie. It's cold outside, it's like 40 degrees, we're super lean. We're gonna stay nice and cozy, and we're just gonna wub the fuck out. And get more shredded. Guess what? Y'all are coming with us. The next clip. <laughs> We're gonna be walking into the venue. Let's go.